Today's topic is pneumonia. Pneumonia is an inflammatory condition affecting the air sacs in one or both lungs, most commonly due to an infection. The air sacs are called alveoli and may fill with pus or fluid, making it very difficult to breathe. Many germs can cause pneumonia, but the most common are bacteria and viruses in the air we breathe. Pneumonia affects approximately 450 million people globally, resulting in about 4 million deaths per year. Pneumonia may range in seriousness from mild to fatal. It is generally more serious when it affects older adults, infants, and young children, those who are critically ill, and those with a weakened immune function. Although it can occur at any age, pneumonia is more common in elderly people. Pneumonia can result in complications such as sepsis, lung abscess, and pleural effusion, fluid accumulation around the lungs, types and causes. The major types of pneumonia are classified according to the types of germs that cause it, where the infection is acquired, and how the infection was acquired. Types of germs. Bacteria. The most common cause of bacterial pneumonia is the Streptococcus pneumoniae. This type can occur on its own or after a cold or flu. Chlamydophila pneumonia and Legionella pneumonia can also cause bacterial pneumonia. Viruses. This is usually caused by respiratory viruses, such as those that cause colds and flu, especially in young children and older people. Viral pneumonia is usually not serious and lasts for a shorter time than bacterial pneumonia. Fungi. Fungi found in soil or bird droppings can cause pneumonia in people who inhale large doses of the organisms. This type is most common in people with chronic health problems or weakened immune systems. Mycoplasma. These organisms are not viruses or bacteria, but they have traits that are common to both. Mycoplasma pneumonia produces milder symptoms than other types of pneumonia. Types by location, where the infection was acquired. Community acquired pneumonia, CAP, refers to pneumonia that is acquired outside the hospitals or other healthcare institution. It is the most common type of pneumonia. Hospital acquired pneumonia, HAP, refers to pneumonia acquired during a hospital stay. This type of bacterial pneumonia can be more serious than other types because it develops in people who are already under medical care for another condition and because the bacteria involved may be more resistant to antibiotics. Types by how the infection was acquired. Aspiration pneumonia occurs when an individual inhales bacteria into the lungs from food, drink, vomit, or saliva. This type is more likely if you have swallowing problems or excessive use of alcohol or drugs. Ventilator pneumonia arises from being on a ventilator for respiratory support in an intensive care setting. Most kinds of pneumonia are contagious, both viral and bacteria pneumonia can spread to others through inhalation of airborne droplets from a sneeze or a cough. An individual can be infected with fungal pneumonia from the environment. It doesn't spread from person to person. Anyone can be affected, but certain people are at higher risk. People older than 65 years. Infants from birth to age 2 years. People with a weakened immune system. People who smoke, drink excessive alcohol, or use illicit drugs. People with chronic conditions such as asthma, diabetes, heart failure, cystic fibrosis. Symptoms. Fatigue. A cough which may produce phlegm. Chest pain while breathing or coughing. Fever. Sweating and chills. Shortness of breath. Nausea. Vomiting. Diarrhea. Lower body temperature, especially in older adults and people with a weakened immune system. Diagnosis and treatment. The doctor will review your medical history and carry out a physical exam. During the physical exam, the doctor will listen to your lungs with a stethoscope to check for abnormal bubbling or crackling sound, which may be suggestive of pneumonia. If pneumonia is suspected, the doctor will recommend blood tests, chest x-ray, sputum test, urine test, pulse oximetry, CT scan and pleural fluid culture may serve as an additional diagnostic test for people who are older than 65, are in the hospital, have serious symptoms, or health conditions. Treatment. Treatment depends on the type and severity of the pneumonia, your age, and overall health. Treatment options aims at curing the infection and preventing complications.
Treatment options include antibiotics, antiviral, and antifungal drugs to treat bacterial pneumonia, viral, and fungal pneumonia, cough medicine to calm a cough, pain relievers for discomfort, and fever such as aspirin, ibuprofen, and acetaminophen. If symptoms are severe, hospitalization may be recommended. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.